Hey everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to my channel. And this is going to be a quick video. And the reason why I look so homeless and disheveled is because I just finished a teaching cycle in yoga this evening. And you know, it's the new year and I got inspired to record this video because this is the time when everyone is like, yes, I have goals. I'm gonna lose this weight, I'm gonna get my life together, I'm gonna this and this and that. But by the time February or spring hits, people fall off, okay? It's just, this is, the, the these are facts, okay? So the thing is that when it comes to weight loss, most people struggle. It's a billion dollar industry because most people fail to identify the root issue, okay? And so for people that are overweight or struggling with their weight, or just not, you don't even have to be overweight, but just struggling to stay fit because, you know, the purpose of, of working out is not necessarily vanity, okay? Working out strengthens your heart, it keeps blood circulating, it keeps your body functioning and working properly. If you think about it like a a screw, right, a rusty screw, if you don't move it, if you don't apply some lubricant or something, then it gets stiff. And that's what happens with our bodies. When we don't move enough, because most of us sit down and are typing all day or doing some sedentary job, um, you know, we, our blood isn't circulating as well. We're gaining weight because we're eating, we're sitting too much and not moving enough. So, anyhow, the point is, is while everyone is gung-ho with their goals right now, most people fall off. I don't wanna see that happen. You know, my classes are a lot more full because people have set new goals. I wanna see them staying, okay, by, tackling the root cause the root cause is that people that struggle with fitness or just stay fit or have weight issues it's because it is their weakness okay so for me my weakness was staying focused on business building and learning and reading and stuff like that so what i had to do was go in and attack the root cause and basically I needed to get into a routine okay I needed to study I needed to change my mindset and that is what my weakness was I fell in love with fitness when I was 19 um, and healthy living when I was 19 so it's easy for me that's why I teach it and for some people business is easy for them but but you know fitness is hard for them or eating healthy is hard so the bottom line is that if you want to be successful in 2018 with your weight loss you're going to have to um, change your habits a habit is nothing more than a deeply ingrained neural pathway and it can be changed I have several books on this um, it's just you know, a habit is like brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth naturally. You know, you're not gonna walk out of the house without brushing your teeth or taking a shower. Um, you eat naturally, it is routine. All you gotta do is insert fitness into there, into your lifestyle so that it's routine. So that most people that are like fitness fanatics like myself, if we miss a workout, we feel like, if you miss brushing your teeth, you feel like, you know what I mean? So. Getting into the habit is what you have to do and what gets you into the habit is repetition over and over and over and over and over and over again until it's just like clockwork until you wake up and it's like five o'clock you're like damn I missed my workout that's not going to work so it becomes a by any means necessary type of deal all right if you have trouble staying focused and staying on uh, staying on your wellness path. Hire somebody. I'm, I am somebody that you can hire. I am a health and wellness coach. I am a fitness instructor and trainer and yoga instructor. So just like you would hire a business coach or a financial management coach or planner, things that you're not good at, you need to invest in that area. And then eventually, it's kind of like training wheels. Eventually you'll be able to take your training wheels off because you work with your instructor for a while. And then you got your habit down and you don't need them or you stay working with them because for some people, weight loss and stuff like that, 
it's it's a deeply ingrained um you know it's emotional sometimes it's emotional so you have lots and lots and lots of layers to work through it's different for everybody so my point the whole point is if you really want to change your health and wellness um, you want to lose weight in 2018 is you have to make this repetition 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 also you don't want to do it too much I, I see a lot of people take like three classes in one day if you go gung-ho like that like three classes you're gonna burn out you're going to burn out and then you're going to say oh you know I need a rest I've been working out so much I'm tired but then what happens there is you rest one day then you rest another day and then before you know it you're not even working out anymore so don't dive in to the point where you're like going overboard because you will experience burnout you will become discouraged okay you fit you have to give it time in order to really make a huge impact okay so don't be working out five times a day nobody does that unless you're training for a movie or you know a rope a, a, a you trying to get a job modeling or something like that don't do that you will burn out okay take things day by day hire a coach and stay consistent and you will reach your health and wellness goals in 2018 as always i thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye